Hey, welcome to the Pete Reed Show, and you know what? Our second incredible guest from Married with Children, Amanda Beers. Thank you so much for stopping by the Pete and Reed Show. My pleasure. It's nice to be here in Hamilton. It's wonderful to have you. Thank I, you. I can't believe I'm sitting beside Marcy. <laughs> it's all right. She, she won't hurt you. <laughs> There's only a select few that she'll go after. <laughs> Not naming names or anything. Oh, okay. So tell us about Married with Children. What kind of experience was it? Oh, my gosh. Well, it was 10 years of my life. Um, we had a great time doing the show. Uh, it's great to go to work every day to try and make people laugh. I've been in comedy for, for many, many years now. And also, Mary with Children gave me my second career behind the camera. So I directed in and around six seasons of the show. And when it ended, I quit acting and just stayed behind the camera doing sketch comedy. I did six years on Mad TV and I created a, a show for Logo, which uh, launched Kate McKinnon's career. Kate, who's now on SNL, yep. becoming yeah. a big star. So proud of her. And uh, yeah, so there are many reasons why Mary with Children is near and dear to me. And then I get to come to these things. And have fun. Because, well, yeah, because I, you know, this is a part of my career that I haven't really done in a while. So the two things I'm most known for as an actor Married with Children and Fright Night. Yes. Are these cult yeah. classic things? So who knew? Did you enjoy doing Fright Night? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. You know, both both jobs were fairly early in my career. Um, I was 26, playing 16 at Fright Night. Wow. wow. And um, I remember auditioning with real 16 and 17 year olds going, uh, I, I don't play it. <laughs> but because the character had such a great arc. Um, they needed somebody, I guess, a little more worldly. Um, and then Married with Children, two years later, was the first time I got to play my own age. And I was younger, but made a good match with David Garrison, my first husband yeah. on the show. What Steve. was he like to work with? Lovely. Yeah. Just so very talented. I learned a lot from David. And we're still in touch. I see him um, on tour and in New York on Broadway. And we just had lunch with each other when I was in New York staging a play in February. So. Now, I understand the cast was really close and you guys had had a lot of fun. Is that true? Which not, cast? Not married? Often. Yeah. Yes, that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> I like to close. And I'm sticking with it. All right. Okay. What stays with Mary? No, I mean, stays again, there. you hang out with anybody for 10 years, you're going to have ups and downs. But, yeah. you know, and none of us knew what Fox was going to be, what the show was going to be. And it's interesting because, you know, at the time, it would not have been made on CBS, ABC, or NBC, which were the three big networks yeah. in the U.S. And now it wouldn't be made again on any probably <laughs> maybe streaming on something um, just because it, it, the niche of, of that kind of humor well which is Archie Bunker too at the same really time right rather yeah. mean-spirited it had some more socially redeeming qualities yes. in, a, in a way because you had voices like um, Sally Strothers and Rob Reiner's characters yeah. uh, you know everybody on Married with Children was a little crazy so. yeah. It was a great show. I, I, I think you were it. Thank you. Thank you. So now how'd you get into acting? Always a dream? Yeah, pretty precocious kid. Grew up doing theater in school. Some of my, my greatest mentors to this day are teachers that I had um, in theater departments both in high school and in college. And now I teach college acting. I teach in Seattle where I live at the Seattle Film Institute. Yeah. I run their acting program and then I also teach television production. So wow. it's, it, that's, I guess, chapter number three. <laughs> what did you like doing better, uh, film or TV? Or I, well, I really love the schedule of uh, a sitcom. I mean, it's a week. It's a, it's a neat, tidy little week of time. And especially if you want to have some normalcy to your life, raising kids, it's hard to be in Sri Lanka for three months at a time, you know? Right. So uh, it worked for me. It just happened that that's the job I got that stuck around for a while. Yeah. So um, I really love television. And you have a daughter. I have my daughter Zoe, yes. Yeah, she's um, in college out in Washington. And um, For acting? No, she's a writer. Oh. But she's a very funny kid. I bet. Yeah, grown up now, I guess. <laughs> sort of. So how do you memorize lines? Give us some tips. Oh my gosh. Rehearse. 
I, and both as an actor and as a director, uh, there does come a point where you can over rehearse too much, especially with comedy. You wanted to stay fresh, but you know, practice does make perfect. In, in going over it, and I find that actually doing it out loud, not just yeah. sort of by yourself on the page. Yeah. And as a director, you have to watch what the camera's seeing, but what they're saying and what they're portraying at the same time, which has got to be difficult as well. Yeah, well, it's it, you know, it's a much more expansive career. I don't make as much money. It's a lot more work. <laughs> um, but I, I, I look at it as I get to put the puzzle together as opposed to just being one piece. Super. Well, Amanda, we're so happy you stopped by the Pete Reed Show, Thank you. taking Thanks the for time to talk me. to us. It was a pleasure. Uh, wonderful. Best Thank wishes so and, and keep in contact so we know what you're up to. All right? Yeah, you can find me. Uh, yeah, tell us. Yeah, on Facebook and also SeattleFilmInstitute.com. Okay. Let's all see right. you. We'll see you next time on the Pete and Reed Show. Sure, my pleasure. Yeah. Want to get one quick? Can we get one picture? One quick yeah, picture yeah. with you?